Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got a 4K showdown for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel today for this review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, both on 4K from Dark Sky Films and on 4K from Second Sight Films over in the UK. And we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head showdown. I'll talk about each release, where it has pros, where it has cons, and ultimately I'll try to give you a recommendation on which one is worth picking up for your collection. So to break the two of these down, the two big things we have to look at are video quality, and then the packaging, because that's really where they differ. They're going to have the exact same audio tracks. There's nothing to talk about there. You can look at my past reviews of Texas Chainsaw Massacre to talk about the audio. It sounds great, that's the bottom line. But when we get into the visuals, this is where these two releases differ. Now for the Dark Sky Films release here, the 4K Steelbook, this is their transfer. And I'll say, remember, this is 16 millimeter. This is a grimy looking movie. It's always looked that way. But on 4K, they can kind of pretty it up a little bit. It's still a little bit of lipstick on a pig, but that's the way we want Texas Chainsaw Massacre to look. The Dark Sky Films release has that real grindhouse feel to it, which I do like. I think it's probably a little bit closer to what most people would expect from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It is going to be a little grimy, it's going to be a little grungy, it's going to be Grindhouse. The colors are a little bit more muted. It's still a beautiful presentation and it's by far the best that this film has ever looked coming from Dark Sky Films. But if you don't like that Grindhouse look and feel and you are looking for something that's maybe a little more revisionist or just a little bit you know, more restored, a little bit brighter at times a little bit more vibrant that's where i think second sight could be your choice for visuals now when second sight talks about they did additional restoration work honestly 95 percent of what you're seeing on their release is going to be the same as what you see on dark sky i mean we know they're using the same source but second sight did go back and it looks like they did some additional cleanup work now sometimes it feels like some of that cleanup work removed a little bit of that grindhouse feel but it does look i would say prettier if that's the right word it does look better than the dark sky but just in tiny tiny places in a tiny percentage the biggest difference i saw between the two is that i think second sight really made their color grading a little bit more vibrant it's not as neutral and as muted as the dark sky films release this is a much brighter HDR Dolby Vision grade I'm honestly not sure which I like more because there's something to be said about like artistic vision here and the fact that you know the original people that worked on this are the ones who approved that 4k transfer that Dark Sky did and Second Sight sort of went you know above and beyond and did some additional restoration work on their own which it you can tell at times what they've done and it's pretty impressive but I, I, I go back and forth with which one I like because I'm a real purist and I just think the Texas Chainsaw Massacre shouldn't look that pretty. It's not a pretty movie. It's a grimy movie. It's a dirty movie. It's grindhouse at its best. And that's kind of what I want. Now, the one area where this is a no-brainer and Second Sight wins this 4K showdown is the packaging. So Dark Sky has a cool steelbook. I like this one with the original poster art. They have lots of special features. There were four different commentaries. There was all kinds of archival features on the Blu-ray disc. It had everything you'd want from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And they also had another slipcover edition with some cool artwork as well. So it's no slouch. But if you compare it to what Second Sight has done with this box set, which is a premium box set all the way around, typical of what you'd expect from Second Sight, it kind of lacks in comparison. So Second Sight's gonna have the same discs. They're in this nice fold out, right? Nice fold out case. You're gonna have the 4K disc. You're gonna have the Blu-ray discs. You get some really neat artwork on the front and back. Second Sight also provides you with some art cards, which are very cool. Not gonna take them out of this case because I wanna keep them preserved, but there are, I believe, eight different art cards that are sort of like character cards. Now the crown jewel outside of the great 4K presentation is this booklet. This is almost 200 pages long. It has 15 different essays by 
film historians and critics and there's one about you know serial killers in rural fear in texas and um you know the ritual of abjection from franklin and i mean it dives deep speciesism animalism and human consumption you've got psychologists in here you've got film critics historians all kinds of different neat little essays in this 200 page book so dark sky doesn't give you that and then of course this packaging i actually really like it i like the red and the white i like the silhouette it's a little bit muted on the back it has this great spine it's hard cardboard it's going to look great on a shelf not to say that this steelbook isn't also one of my favorite steelbooks realistically i'm probably going to keep these both so really what it comes down to is a couple of things how serious are you about the way that this movie looks on 4k and what's your preference? Do you want the grindhouse feel? Or do you want a little bit of a more cleaned up and vibrant feel to your movie? If you want the vibrancy, it's Second Sight. If you want the grindhouse feel, it's Dark Sky. I'll say this, both of them are absolutely fantastic in their own right. And you can't go wrong with either one. I was flipping back and forth and I honestly couldn't decide. I just think I like the grimy look of Dark Sky, but I think on any given day you could show me Second Sight and I'd like that one better. If you are looking for the definitive edition, if you want to spend some decent money, if you want that premium box set, that's going to be Second Sight. That booklet, the art cards, the packaging all around, everything is at a premium level compared to what Dark Sky gives you. And their steelbook is no slouch. I like their slipcover edition as well. Second Sight just takes the packaging up one step. And there's a premium cost associated with that. But if that's what you want and you want the best ultimate version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Second Sight you can't go wrong with. So I hope that was helpful in making a purchase decision. Like I said, you can't really go wrong with either one, but there are things to consider and that's what I wanted to lay out in the video. There's price, there's the visuals, but ultimately they're both amazing releases and we're so lucky to have these right now. What a great time in physical media to have this choice of two amazing 4K releases that you can choose from. Pick what fits your budget. It's just an awesome time to be a collector. And so that's the breakdown for this 4K showdown. Honestly, I'd call it like a tie on the visuals and I'd give Second Sight that leg up on the packaging. So yeah, Second Sight has a better release than Dark Sky, but Dark Sky's release is also excellent. It just comes down to your budget. How much do you want to spend? Do you care about the booklet and the 200 pages of essays? If you don't, you don't need that release. Go buy the Dark Sky films for like half the price, but if you want it, it's out there. That's why options are great. So if you want to pick these up, you can get the Dark Sky Films release still on Amazon, and I'll put a link down in the description. The second site, Texas Chainsaw, is going to be a little bit harder to get. The limited editions sold out pretty quickly. I'm not sure how many are left, but there will be standard 4K editions as well, which would have all the special features, but it wouldn't have the booklet. So at that point, you're probably better off in the U.S. just buying from Dark Sky, and in the U.K., just buying from Second Sight, the standard edition. They're going to be sort of one and the same once they run out of limited edition. But if they do have limited editions left you could find them at diabolicdvd.com or orbitdvd.com they typically have those in stock in short quantities so you'll have to check them out maybe give them a, a message and see if they have any but that's where you'll find them in the u.s because second sight is not shipping from their site over to the u.s right now so if you're in the uk you've got all the options if you're in the u.s you got to get a little creative with who you reach out to to get one of these so that is it for this showdown this review this breakdown this unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helped make uh, a purchase decision for you and I, I do just want to say props to everybody who worked on these releases from the german turbine media to the dark sky steelbook to this new second sight release it's been an incredible treatment for this movie which so deserves it one of the most influential movies of all time never mind horror movies it deserves all this love so thank you for watching if you want more videos and breakdowns like this reviews physical media news make sure you subscribe to the channel here and follow me on social media all those links are in the description you can also find links to the films at home podcast where i cover lots of interesting topics in more longer form interviews and discussions with other collectors and people in the industry and of course make sure you follow me on spotify and apple Podcasts if you want to listen to the audio versions of those as well so thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon.